Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to share something with you. I'm not sure if... Uh, it's not that insane of an uh, update uh, or anything, but it's an update. Mirror on the event page. Um, oh wait, there's something new here. N okay, I wanted to talk about the f uh, Fortune Cookie event, but let's check this out first, because I haven't seen this one. <laughs> Just when you thought, just put on the camera and see. Let's see what we got there. Happy New Kickstart the New Year with Summoner's War. Why? Okay. Greetings from Clumsy as Kickstart the New Year special event. Please read below for more info. I'll do that. Event Blessing Attribute Dungeons. 30 December to January 8th. So tomorrow it's 30 December. Till January 8th. Uh, so a good week. Get Two times assassins during the event hours from at Whoa, that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. They never done it, but it's on specific hours. Uh, it's it's three times a day, so there's a good chance you would be able to do uh, one. Uh, you will be online on one time a day. Uh, for people that don't know, there are, you could find on the internet uh, the correct time zone, what the times will be. For example, for me, I live in the Netherlands, uh, so that's basically uh, the AU, so people from uh, Germany and uh, France, uh, I think they have the same, well, depending on where you live, actually, uh, in the country, because they're big countries, um, will have around uh, GTM minus 8 or plus 1, which means, uh, for me, it means... When they say 12 p.m., it will be nine hours later for me uh, to start than for the Pacific Standard Time. So you can uh, check out which uh, time it is. But it is really good because you can get double the essence normally. Which gets you basically you can awaken all your monsters really fast. Comparison twice as fast. So that's good. Good to know. Always good. Event 2 makes a witch twice a day, always nice. Uh, January 1st, is that only one? That's only one day, it seems like. That's weird, they used to do that uh, more dates. Oh, more like more days they uh, done that. But that's fine, just uh, January 1st, just to make two wishes cool. Event 3, the New Year Dungeon Event. Surprise Dungeons of Angel Mon, Rainbow and Devil. Okay, this is just where you can get an Angel. I, Angel Mon is actually most uh, something cool because Angel Mon dungeons are most of the time farmable. Uh, so you could get like what, like 20 Angel Mons if you're high level, or just five or ten. Rainbow Mons is always you get just uh, you can do the dungeon get an Angel Mon. Same goes for Devil Mon, but it's good. It's free, so it's good. That will go from January 1st to January 8th, and the Devilmon dungeon will start at January 1st. That's in two days, if I'm correct. Am I correct? No, that's in three days, sorry. It's almost uh, midnight, so that's in three days. Then, uh, wait. Yeah, okay. January 5th, we have the, the Angel Mons. This uh, January 5th. And January, uh, wait, how many days are there? Okay, January 5th to 7th are very nice days to play this game at the Pacific time because you can farm these uh, dungeons for one hour. One hour you could get a lot of these angel ones, and that's really nice to have. It's just basically an XP bomb. This will make it a lot easier to get you an X6 star or uh, whatever. <laughs> so these days are definitely something to note down. Then we got January 8th, we got the Aemon dungeon. Um, well, I was actually thinking they would have done uh, not an Angel Mon, but a King's Angel Mon. But still, you don't have that, uh, any event with that. Um, let's go for the New Year's event, because that's actually what I wanted to talk about. We'll, we'll just do the both events. New Year's event is pretty not, uh, simple. Um, you can get fortune cookies uh, during this time, and the fortune cookies are not to scale up your runes like uh, previous uh, events have been, but you can get rewards from them. So let's read through this. December 30, 
so that's tomorrow um for some people that well that's tomorrow for me that will be nine in the morning yeah nine in the morning this will start for me um rewards can be collected till january uh eight the rewards you can collect till one day after that but that's that's not really um that doesn't really matter um find four new cookies from test chest basically if you clear a stage uh it's it will stand all here like let me see if there's clear a scenario dungeon or other dungeons to get a fortune cookie with a random chance the number of fortune cookies you find will be accumulated in the event okay that's fine one fortune cookie will be deducted every time you open a fortune cookie yeah that, that means isn't that obvious that if you open one that one goes okay um yeah sure you can get them from all scenarios some carries on the secret dance excluded so you cannot get them in secret dose and half hero those those events you cannot get the cookies uh but for the rest you can get them um what can you get from a fortune cookie you can get crystals mana stones uh ascent attribute ascent so this is pretty new that you can get that i don't like it actually uh prefer to farm it Energy, Angel Mon, Rain Mon, and more. I'm guessing the and more will be crystals as well. Um, open five times and ten times. So five times you get a mystical scroll, ten times you get 150 crystals. So pretty cool. It's basically just give us, uh, it will give us new, more stuff for free. Uh, nothing too exciting or something. I mean, I hope there was uh, an event where you could power up your runes faster because that's more useful in my eyes. But that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we got that. Nope, no store reset yet. Okay, um, that was the update video on the two events. I wanted to do one, and uh, then suddenly there was another event. I like that uh, peop that uh, game providers with a lot of events constantly. I had a comment today that uh, somebody said, that, oh man, only the good monsters are light and dark, so you have to be paid to win to get the correct monsters. But I don't think like that. I mean, there are plenty of good monsters out there that's, uh, that are not light and dark. And actually the best light and dark monsters are all farmable. And those are really good. They're, like, they're, they're used. Like, Eban, Belladon, uh, Darion. Light Imp, Taru is also really good. All farmable units, so uh, obviously there's some natural born 5 stars that are really fucking strong, but uh, definitely not the light and dark, and definitely not the strongest monsters uh, in the game. Some of them are really strong and will uh, have something amazing. Like a real. Oh. Why do I always yawn when I'm talking so much? Is that is that normal? When you talk much, you yawn. But I, what I wanted to say is that not all the good monsters are natural born fire stars. I will actually I'll do that real quickly. I want to show um, collection. I want to show something. Um, if you scroll down to the natural fire stars, come on. If you actually watch, which ones are really awesome? It's the Zyrebos and the Phoenix are really awesome. But for example, if you would get a uh, Beast Monk, Fire Beast Monk, he's probably pretty good, right? He's probably pretty damn good. But is he better than Arnold? Arnold is the. I'm not so sure. I mean, is Kumar better than having a Chloe? No, I don't think so. So you can see, not all the Fire Stars are super awesome. For example, the Fire Chimera, very good unit, awesome unit, but it's not. It's not necessarily the best unit you can have. And in the end, it, it's more about runes than the unit. Obviously, some of the units are better than others. Um, but don't be too uh, discouraged when you cannot get a 5-star natural born. It took me forever to actually get one natural born 5-star. I've got it like past week, the Jameer. I'm very happy with it, but uh, I, I hadn't had a four, natural born 5-star for ages. But that, that didn't really hold me back. 
this Jameer doesn't even help me that much right now. It does help me in uh, True of Ascension or uh, somewhat, uh, but in Arena I still don't use him as often. I mean, he's really good, don't get me wrong, but it's not like I changed my team just because I had him. He will give me a lot of options, of course. Yeah, that was it. I'm not going to make it longer than it's needed. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, that was it. So, <laughs> can't, cannot add anything here, right? Okay, see ya.